Hi, welcome back. This is Sarah. Um, sorry, it's been a while since my last upload. I had some equipment problems, but I'm back today and I wanted to do a review of the Creative Haven Country Charm book. It was released um, just at the end of March, so it's a pretty new one. The illustrations are by Teresa Goodrich, and if you're familiar with her work, you won't be disappointed with this book. It's a lot of fun and really cute illustrations. So, um, one thing I like about the Country Charm books is they give you some examples of the images already colored in, which is fun, especially <laughs> when you're doing all this little produce. That's kind of a nice point of reference. Um, you, you start right away with this title page with the beautiful horses out in the field. And then I already colored a sample page, and unfortunately I don't have a video of this because that's where my equipment went wonky. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this. I got to experiment with coloring some glass, which was new for me. Um, and it was just fun to do the colorful bottles and the flowers. The book is full, as you would imagine, of just country-inspired images, watering cans and milk jugs and lots and lots of flowers and plants. Here's a nice field with horses and a giant barn behind. And look at how far back the detail goes, all the way, all the way to the horizon with the mountains and the sky. This one's really cool. It's um, a water mill and there's a waterfall back here which will be kind of a fun challenge to color. Uh, here's another barn. We have some cows. I like just all the little details. The birds. There's a bird nest right here. Um, flowers everywhere. Some milk jugs and a mailbox. Then here's that produce stand again that we saw colored in on the front cover. So lots of produce, you can make it really colorful and fun. Here's a farmer and the farmer's wife driving their cart. Wow, this one is just really beautiful. A cottage, a little creek with some ducks in it, a birdhouse, there's a puppy. And then back here there's a lake or something and a sailboat another little house and even houses in the distance will be a lot of fun to color this one brings us inside the cottage with the kitchen and the stove and all the the hutch with the dishes and the pots and pans it says kiss the cook and here we have some laundry on the line and someone has their drinks out ready to relax after hanging up all that laundry. Some more horses in the field and then back here there's a tractor. Um, you can color some machinery. Uh, this one's really beautiful. The flowers. Flowers just bursting everywhere. Oh, this one has chickens. And different jugs again. Oh, this one's nice. A lake and boats and then a little girl with her dog. And this says flower potting shed. Oh, I wish I had a flower potting shed. <laughs> that would be my heaven inside there. Oh, this is a train. That'll be fun to color. Something different. For me, at least. I don't color a lot of vehicles and machines. My son will like that. <laughs> oh, then here's a lemon tree. That must be how they're making all the lemonade. They've got their gardening tools. It looks like someone's just finished doing some work and wandered away. 
And then here's a table set with, I guess it could be lemonade or tea. And little drinks and candles and the kitties taking a snooze. <clears throat> Some people bicycling by a windmill. There's sheep in the field back here. Then the country store. It's got some goodies on the shelves outside. Some bags of feed or something. And a horse there in the front. There's another chicken. Here's another kitchen scene. It says, Live, Love, Cook. It's got the different canisters on the shelves and produce underneath. We have another barn. I'm going to have fun experimenting with making sort of the weathered wood look like a barn. I see a lot of barns here in Iowa. Red, brown, white, gray. They can be lots of different colors. They, they, they get a lot of wear and tear though through the weather. And there's some bunnies here. And here's the front porch. A nice porch swing. A little table. Again, lots and lots of flowers. And there's a sleeping doggy there. And some birdies. I really I'm <laughs> I really like this book. I haven't had a chance to color much in the past few days, but I want to get I want to get into it more. This is an antique store and again with just flowers, flowers everywhere. Inside they have the bunting. I had fun doing that on the first page I colored in the book. And then there's a kitty sleeping on the rocker. There's an animal in, in every page which makes sense for the country. Here's another train going along the countryside. And then in the foreground, a wheelbarrow, some more chickens. This says flower gallery. Oh, that's beautiful. There's a snail there, maybe a decorative one for your garden. And the chicken has a sign that says chick, or maybe chic. This one I imagine could be really good in autumn colors. She's wearing a warm coat, taking a walk with her dog. You could do the leaves in different reds and oranges. The, there's still some flowers. And this is a winter scene. It's snowing. There's snow on the trees and on the yard. Some little holly leaves and berries there. This one could be autumn too. There's pumpkins on the porch and the wreath has some pine cones, logs ready for the fire. Could make a really welcoming doorway. And another snow scene with deer and snow on all the trees and the barns. Oh, this one's nice. I imagine it's still snowing outside and the doggies inside where it's warm taking a nap. It says home sweet home. And the beautiful plates on the shelf. And then here's another colored sample. This is the one with the boats in the water obviously. Kind of nice to see how they did the water. If you need some inspiration it's always nice to see what other people have done of course. And then there's a partially co colored one of that first snow scene. Quaint picturesque scenes. I really like this book. Um, this is my first book um, with illustrations from Teresa Goodridge and I was looking online on Amazon and she has a ton of them so I think I'm gonna have to do some shopping and get more because I really love her work. Um, I will go ahead and link this book in the description so you can find it if you're interested in giving it a try yourself. Um, 
and hopefully I'll be doing some actual videos of me coloring in it later on too so you can see how I do it and um, then I'd love to see pictures of how you color in it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching another coloring video with Sarah Zapp. I really appreciate the views. If you like what you just saw, please go ahead and hit that like button. Every thumbs up helps me out a ton. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, um, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can follow along with my coloring adventure and see some of the art I'm going to be featuring soon. Thanks again. Bye.